Hello everyone, my name is Saurav Shukla and uh, I am going to explain the about the course guide for the VLSI design. It is a first, it is a second part. In a first part, already we seen the evolution of CAD tools. Okay. In a first part, I think if you are having any doubt, you can ask the question. It is there in a YouTube. You can see, you can watch. Now, in a second part, we are going to discuss about the CAD terminologies. How many types of the terms we are using in a CAD tool or if you are going for any type of technology first you should know the basic of the technology and how many terms are there you should know so regarding this we are going to see the how many terms are there in a VLSI technology first one is a HDL HDL means hardware description language hardware description language by by which language languages are three types languages are three types VHDL, Verilog and System Verilog and System Verilog by using these three languages you can write the program you can write the program so what the mean by VHDL what the mean by HDL HDL is a hardware description language describe a circuit to a computer describing a circuit to a computer means a language by which which you are going to describe the circuit to a computer that is a HDL that is a HDL. HDL is a hardware description language, a programming language by all means. A programming language by all means. The concurrence, the concurrency construct to simulate the circuit. Concurrency simulate the circuit behavior, Verilog and VHDL. And another one is also there. That is a system Verilog. That is a system Verilog. That is not mentioned here, but three languages are there: Verilog, VHDL, and system Verilog. By using these three languages, you can choose among any one, and you can write the program. Simulate simulation for simulation for verification and synthesis. Simulation for verification and synthesis. Synthesizable construct and RDL. Synthesizable construct and RDL in VLSI technologies by using the three languages three languages are known as a HDL three languages are known as a HDL VHDL Verilog and System Verilog by using three languages you can write the program okay you can write the program what the mean by HDL you can understand very well HDL is a hardware description language now another term is the RTL register transfer level register transfer level RTL means register transfer level what the mean by register transfer level means what the program you are writing by using the three languages by using the HDL by using the HDL what the program you are writing that is known as a RTL that is known as a RTL what you are you are doing in your program that is RTL what what is RTL now we will see point by point specifying how the data flow between the registers specifying how the data flow between the registers and how the design process on data means what the in program what you are doing you are describing your data is there in which way it is going to be proceed in which way it is going to be proceed you are going to explain you are going to write in terms of the programs what the process is there and how your data will come and how it is going to manipulate how it is going to be proceed that is going to be expressed in terms of the programming okay that program is known as a RTL okay the another point is there register store intermediate results okay register store intermediate results here the your registers are not normal register which you are seeing in electronics labs that is a register with a, with a uh, multi coding that is not not that one register it is a different register which can store one bit value one bit data again i am telling it is a register which can store one bit data one bit data or single bit data not a byte not a byte a single bit byte it can store a logic between the logic between any the logic between any two register in the register in a data flow determine the speed of the circuit okay between the registers registers are used for storing the value uh, one bit single bit value it is storing okay single bit data value it is storing and logic what you are writing between the registers what the logic you are writing between the register if your logic is too long if your logic is too long then your circuit speed is going to be slow your circuit speed is going to be slow so whatever the process you are writing 
whatever the code you are writing that is going to be tell what the speed and what speed your circuit is going to be work okay a speed means when you are giving the input and when you are getting the output that's a speed how much less time it is going to be take for producing the output okay that is a rtl hdl is a language by which you are by using the language you are going to be write the program okay that is a hdl the language and rtl rtl is a code rtl is a code or program which you are writing which you are writing synthesis synthesis is synthesis is very simple thing converting your rtl to a set of the gates and wires to set of the gates and wires connecting them synthesis is converting the rtl to set of the gates and wires connecting them means you are having the program now by using the hdl you have written one program that program is going to be converted that program is going to be converted in that your program is going to be converted in terms of the circuit circuit layout your program is going to be converted in terms of the circuit layout that is known as a synthesis that process is known as a synthesis okay everyone got it the program you have written that is going to be converted in circuit layout okay that is known as a synthesis and this circuit layout contains only the gates only the gates and internal wire connection internal by connecting for connection purpose of the gates we are using the wires we are using the wires and here some in the last you can see the some companies like cadence synopsis these companies are providing the tools these companies are providing the tools cat tools okay different companies are there you can see in a market you can download these programs these tools for doing the vlsi programs for doing the vlsi programs okay this is the end of this part 2 in a part 3 we will see the design flow in a part 3 we will see the design flow now i am going to close this okay in a part 3 we will see the design flow if you are having any type of doubt if you are having any type of doubt you can ask me and you can comment also